much for clicking on this video. As you can probably tell, we're doing a little grocery haul today. Yep, that's right. We're gonna go through my big Kroger haul. Is it like a haul if I do it every week? I mean, really. But I'm gonna go through my week's worth of groceries and share my meal plan. I follow the WW Blue plan and I get 23 points a day. And I have been following Weight Watchers as part of my journey to lose 100 pounds and maintain that weight loss. Well, if you are new here, I would totally love it, like so much. If you went ahead and click that red subscribe button, like this video, turn on your notifications, and let's get to it. All right, the groceries are unloaded. You can see we have a whole mess of stuff here, and I'm not gonna show it to you in any particular order because why be organized this day has been a hot mess. I just came home. There is dirt all over the floor because Yeti, my 16 month old, year and a half old Husky, decides she likes to eat plants. I mean, she doesn't like to eat her dog food, but let's just eat my plant, you know? But anyway, so on this week's meal plan, if I can remember everything, we are having mini pierogies with chicken sausage. We are making this super awesome chicken ramen stir fry. We've made it once before and it was so good. I had to put it back on the meal plan. I'm also gonna make some Greek inspired quesadillas with a cucumber salad. I also plan to make some Cincinnati La Rosa's. If you are from the Midwest and know La Rosa's, their steak hoagies are so good. And I have been craving one and I haven't been back home to see my family in over a year. So I just decided that since my brother's a jerk and won't drive up and bring me one, that I'm gonna figure out how to make it myself. And then there's something else on, ooh, zero point chili. So I made this like just random chili this week so I could take it to lunch. And then my husband's like, why don't you make this for dinner? And my son's like, I'm gonna eat this for a bedtime snack. Like who eats chili for a bedtime snack? Normally he's like, I want all that sugar. And then he's eating chili. So that is the meal plan. And let's get into what I bought. We gotta start with the good stuff. <laughs> What's not gonna surprise you? Not one, but two cans of Fat Free Ready Whip. I love them, I stock up on them. If you know, you know, right? I have two cans of fire roasted tomatoes and this is for my zero point chili. So when I kind of made up that recipe, I used lean ground turkey, 99% ground turkey, which is zero points on the WW Blue plan. I used, so two pounds of that, two cans of fire roasted tomatoes. I used a can of black beans, although I will omit that for my husband because he loves me, I love him, he doesn't love beans. There you go. And then the seasonings for that are cumin, chili powder, a little bit of oregano, salt, I throw in a little tomato paste, water, and then the secret ingredient, and it is like the, mm, just what you need is smoked paprika, that smoked flavor, just Denali, my old husky is growling at me. I don't know why, it's just a mess. Mayhem, mayhem. So roasted tomatoes. This is like in a pinch, like something that will save you the Progresso light chicken noodle soup. I believe it is one point per cup and like three points for the whole can. And I will just take this to work if I'm too lazy to pack my lunch. So I'm currently working on a hybrid schedule, partially from home, partially from the office. Soon I will be transitioning to the office full time. So we got to figure out how to eat some lunches. Can of corn because I want a can of corn. Sliced mushrooms in a can. So fresh mushrooms are best. I have some back here. I'll show it to you later. You know, like what else? But for the mushroom sauce, for my imitation La Rosa steak hoagies, you just, you just need it. I'm pretty sure that's what they use. I don't know. For the steak hoagies, I have sliced provolone. One slice is 70 calories. I think it's two points per slice. And for some reason, they gave me the 24 slice pack. So we're gonna be eating a lot of provolone cheese. That's what happens with Kroger Clicklist. I know I have shared, um, I've been doing Clicklist since before it was cool because my kids are annoying. Um, 
in the store, sometimes outside of the store, but definitely in the store. Um, and so you get some weird substitutions. That's one of them. I have another one coming up. So just be on the edge of your seat, grab a Diet Coke, grab a coffee and just like jelly beans. I'm going to hide these hopefully for my children because they're for their Easter baskets. Red onion, because that goes good on everything. That's also for my steak hoagies. Mozzarella cheese for our Greek cake quesadillas. Two points for a quarter cup. Delicious. There you go. I have non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I eat this a lot with a snack. I do I have it? I just hit Yeti in the head. Anyway, um, I mix in like those coffee skinny syrups and just like a little bit of cake mix. Oh, and my sprinkles. Like I don't even put my sprinkles away because I've become addicted. I think it's because of like other YouTubers I've seen. Light sour cream for the pierogies. I had to think because I just like sour cream. You know, Greek yogurt can like substitute in a pinch, especially if you're on the blue plate and don't want to use points. But like there's just something about sour cream. Am I right? I'm right. My Swiss Miss hot chocolate, reduced calorie, one point per packet. I've been missing it. I was out. I was like, I could make two. And then I realized I really just like it. And I, that's soothing. I should maybe drink hot tea, but I don't. Sweet potato crinkle cut fries. I will eat regular french fries. I don't eat these because I think they're healthier. They're not. They're like the same amount of points probably. Let me just tell you, 150 calories for three ounces, six grams of fat, 23 carbs and one gram of protein, but we all know we're not eating sweet potato fries for the protein. We eat them because they're delicious. Strawberries. These are for my youngest because I love him and he loves me. I also love strawberries with a little fat-free ready whip. You know, zero point treat. Shiitake mushrooms. These are pricey. Sometimes I'm like, why am I spending $5 on a pack of mushrooms? But it does have a little bit different flavor. And so this is for my ramen stir fry. And then just a little trick, because I don't know how everybody, you know, if you live alone, you can do whatever you want. You can make what you want. But if you live with other people and you have to deal with what they like, it can get real so with the ramen stir fry, I did the chicken, the noodles, and the sauce kind of on the side. And then I did the veggies with more sauce because I want lots of veggies and chicken. The kids want chicken and noodles. My husband will do a little bit of veggies, a good amount of protein, and then a lot of carbs. So, so I do it that way, but I really did feel like the shiitake mushrooms were worth it. Gallon of milk for the kids, for the cereal, they always tell me to buy that they want, but they actually don't eat. A giant bag of baby carrots. I have no idea why I picked the three pounds, but I did. So I'm guessing I'm gonna eat carrots and turn orange. I have asparagus. This is on sale and I love asparagus. So I bought it. I have three zucchinis. I also love zucchini. And I will just like roast zucchini, eat it as a snack if I need to like, if I'm hungry or feeling munchy, but no, like I'm not really hungry. So. I have a cucumber. And so with our Greek quesadillas, I'm gonna make a little cucumber, onion, and tomato salad. So it's typically equal parts vinegar, sugar, and water. Maybe not equal parts, I gotta look it up. Anyway, but I'll use a sugar substitute, but it's so delicious and refreshing. And then again, it's just one of those EVC things you can snack on when you're feeling snacky, but you don't want to spend any points or you're saving your points for something delicious. I was just a tell. I have seasoned waffle fries, something different. I don't know. Yeah, no rhyme or reason. So there's a bunch of frozen meals. My husband takes frozen meals to school. Um, he's a teacher. And so he loves this one. My son loves this one too, my nine year old and buffalo style mac and cheese. And these are a crap ton of calories and a crap ton of points. And even if I was like, wanted to make room for this, it's if I'm gonna spend the calories, 620 calories. Like I'm gonna eat something better than a frozen meal. I bought this for an upcoming video. Cauliflower crust pizza from Life Cuisine. It's pepperoni, 390 calories, 18 grams of protein, 41 carbs. So just let that sink in if you think cauliflower crust pizza is healthier. It's not. It's not. 
So I bought mini marshmallows to go with my hot chocolate. Sometimes I just let myself have like 10. I'm very weird. I count. I have 10 for zero points. I don't actually know. Don't count. I just do what I want. I just do what I want. Two more vegetables for our chicken ramen stir fry. Red bell pepper, real broccoli. So I will put the real broccoli in the noodles for the kids, but I have to cook it a little bit extra longer because then they're like, this is raw. And I'm like, no, I cooked it. And they're like, it's raw. It's a thing, it's annoying. And I really just try to avoid fights with my kids because pick my battles, you know? I've never tried these. I don't typically try super snacky foods, but we're gonna give it a go. Lay's Poppable Sea Salt. 150 calories for 30, one gram of protein, because obviously, again, you're eating this for the protein, um, and eight grams of fat and 16 carbs. But I hope they're delicious, and if not, sometimes the stuff like this that's not delicious gets turned into a dog treat. Now here's a snack I'm gonna regret buying because I know it's delicious. These like original circus animal cookies, like there's just something nostalgic about this. Um, I have not calculated points. Maybe I'll put them on the screen. Seven cookies, 150 calories, one gram of protein, 20 grams of carbs, 12 sugars. So this is something like with like my Funfetti yogurt, Hi Yeti, um, where I could just have like one or two cookies for a couple points and then you feel special and you just move on with your day. I was giving up sweets for Lent and then I stopped giving up sweets for Lent because here are the mini pierogies. 11 pieces are 260 calories, seven grams of protein, 42 carbs. And says there's only two and a half servings in this box. And I think you've kind of may, maybe gathered. There's four people in my house. So this is gonna have to go for four people. I don't know if my kids will even eat these, but these are just cheddar, Parmesan, Romano and Swiss cheeses. I'm sure they're gonna be super impressed by that. And creamy whipped potatoes. And my youngest, who's five, um, and says that he does not like mashed potatoes. But this might be more of a noodle for him, so he might actually eat it. Uh, for another upcoming video, uh, Quest Thin Crust Supreme Pizza. One third of a pizza is the serving, 260 calories, 20 grams of protein, 18 carbs, 17 grams of fat. Okay, we have our ground turkey. This is the 99% fat-free ground turkey for our zero point chili. If I didn't want the chili to be zero points, I would get like 93.7. Um, or I would even mix it with some ground beef just for some different flavor. So just a story you didn't necessarily come here to hear, but I'm gonna share it with you. So when I was a kid, my dad was diagnosed with high cholesterol. Now, it felt really funny because my dad was um, super tall and skinny. And my mom was not, I mean, she was taller than me, but everybody's taller than me. For reference, I am five foot three. My mom was overweight um, and was obese. And so, but my dad had high cholesterol. So my mom would mix ground turkey and ground beef together because my dad was like, I'm not eating ground turkey. Well, yeah, you are because you got high cholesterol, sorry. I purchased some real sourdough bread, San Francisco, eight slices. I, I know I overpaid for this, but that's okay. I'll live. One slice is 70 calories and I think it's two points. So I did that because I have had such problems with that light wheat bread just going bad so quickly. And sometimes I'd rather just have a piece of sourdough that like I know is gonna be good than than the light wheat bread. And it's kind of like the in-between. So the light wheat bread is one point. The bagel fins and the Thomas English muffins are typically three points. So this is my in-between. Um, I have bagels for my husband. So these are for my fake out La Rosa's steak hoagies. And these are gonna be pretty like high in points. Like I'm not even playing. So when I have this, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be like, we're gonna make it work. So one patty, 240 calories, 19 grams of fat, four grams of carbs, 16 grams of protein. So this is, the company is called JTM. And this is a big, like popular or well-known company in Cincinnati. 
So I don't know if they actually make the La Rosa Steak Hoagie Hoagie things, but this is what I picked. It's what I have. I picked up some Ritz crackers, peanut butter crackers. And then I got some cumin. Cumin just feels like one of those spices that you're out of it when you need it. And I was, when I made my zero point chili, I noticed I was getting low. I didn't want to be low. So I got some more cumin. I have spinach for my Greek quesadillas. Plus just maybe I want to eat some spinach. I prefer cooked spinach, but that I will put it in a salad as well. My husband will just put raw spinach on the side. He won't eat other vegetables, but he'll eat raw spinach. Log cabin, sugar-free syrup. And this is one point for a quarter cup. This is where I also had a substitution. I ordered six packets of ramen and got 12. But we, I mean, we eat ramen every once in a while and this won't go bad. And we actually do a ramen when we go camping. It's not camping weather yet, but I could save it for camping. We're gonna have at least one camping trip this summer. The no sugar added ketchup. Um, I believe we were running low on ketchup, so I thought, I'll just do the no sugar. I don't really care about what ketchup I buy, to be honest. I just don't. That's ketchup. Last but not least, our melons. So I picked up like the cut watermelon at the store the other day. And it, I just love watermelon, but I don't think anyone else eats it. So I got a watermelon, cucumber, watermelon, cantaloupe. And I hopefully will like get on the game and like cut these up and have them prepped because if not, they'll go bad on the counter. I'll be honest. I know me, I know me. So All right, I think that is in my entire haul, except for the Diet Coke caffeine free that this little tripod is sitting on. So there you have it, what I bought at the grocery store. I typically spend, just in case you were wondering, between 140 and maybe $180 each week with maybe just one little extra trip in there. But until next time, my name is Kim. Thank you so much for visiting. And I would love it if you went ahead and hit the red subscribe button, like this video, turn on your notifications. I post all about WW, food, fitness, everything that we try to balance as we live our best healthy lives. Until next time, do something you love.